everybody. Welcome to the Brunswick Heritage Museum. I'm James Castle, president of the museum, and uh, welcome uh, to the series of artifacts and displays within the uh, Brunswick Museum. We are in Eagles Hall on the second floor of the museum where we have a special display to talk about uh, one of our very own and the female contribution to Brunswick Railroading during World War II. In World War II, uh, our working railroaders went off to war, but the railroad industry was very important in uh, supporting the war effort. And who took uh, the men's place to make sure that job got done? And that was the ladies. Um, and we had a group of ladies uh, that uh, worked here in Brunswick, in the Brunswick Yards. And one of those uh, was Ruth Klein Staples. And Ruth uh, worked during the yard during World War II. Her job was to climb large piles of coal uh, and see if any fires were burning. And she also made the front cover of the B&O uh, uh, Railroad Magazine, um, where she was featured on the cover uh, with the worker there saying, you're doing all right, lady. Um, and so we owe a huge uh, debt of gratitude to our own Rosie the Riveters uh, for their contribution uh, during World War II. So I'd like to thank you for uh, participating and watching uh, this session of uh, Brunswick History 101, uh, where we feature our um, artifacts. Uh, please feel free to comment in the comment section if you have your own family members or family memories of uh, women who worked on the railroad during both World War I and World War II. Uh, also, um, feel free to comment on anything, and uh, thank you for tuning into this series. Thank you.